This is number 10. The volume of a right rectangular prism is found by multiplying the length of the base by the width of the base by the height of the prism. Okay, a right rectangular prism has a volume of 30 cubic inches. If the height of the prism is six inches, what is the area of the base of the prism? So what I did is I drew this prism for you. And let's show, let's see what we have here. So a right rectangular prism means that every angle is a 90 degree. It's a perfect square. Okay, now since it's rectangular, I, I made something that's obviously a rectangle, but it doesn't have to be these exact dimensions. But what we do know, the right rectangular prism has a volume of 30 cubic inches. So if you filled this box up with uh, water, that water would fill 30 cubic inches. 30 cubes that are one inch by one inch, okay? If the height of the prism is six inches, so from here to here, here, let's make this look nice. So that's six inches. What is the area of the base? The base is the bottom. So I use these dashed lines to show you that the prism is sort of like a crystal that you can see through. So let's do some review on how to find the volume. Now, they tell you how to do it. It's by multiplying the length of the base times the width times the height. So we have L, W, and H. So if you knew these three, you could get 30. But we only know this one for sure, and the total volume is 30. So let's do some math. So length times width times height equals 30. Now we do know the height of the prism is six. So that means that L and W is unknown. So we have six times these two numbers together will give us 30. Now the nice thing here is they're not asking you to tell individually what these are. They're saying together we have to figure out the area of the base. We have to find out how much space this area is, this two-dimensional shape, this rectangle, what is the length times the width. So all we have to do is we have to find the number that we can multiply 6 by to get to 30. And to do that, it's just straight division. So we take 30, it goes in the house, and then the 6 goes out. 6 goes into 30 five times. 5 is the area of the base. And if we look over here, we have 5 square inches. So for this one, I kind of figured out what the answer was. If this is a 1, if it's 1, inches, one inch long and 5 inches wide, 1 times 5 times 6 is 30. So let's test that. So we have to have a length times width times height equals 30. We knew that the height was 6, the length is 1, and the width is 5. 1 times 5 is 5. 5 times 6 is 30. So we can go back and check our work.